was fun. Hey guys, welcome back to the vlog. So this is my first week of uni, the first week of second year. And I can officially say I'm a second year student now, so really excited. I'm walking to my first class, which is just orientation week. And so we'll have a lot lighter classes, more introductory sort of stuff and getting us accustomed to the new course, so it should be good. Now we're having three hours worth of lectures, three hours worth of orientation stuff and a lot planned. So I'll catch you in a bit. <laughs> Start a neuro block now, which is pretty cool, and everyone's like freaking out already. Uh, so that's chill. It's fun, right? We had a lecture on Malibu, spending daddy's money with an attitude. Roxanne, Roxanne. All she want to do is party all night. All day. Roxanne. Never gonna love me, but it's alright. She think I'm a. She think I'm a player. She keeps running back, though. Only cause I pay her. Um. So I just got back home and for five hours of lectures that felt a lot longer than what it was. I guess we've been on holidays for so long that I don't really know what it's like to go back into uni. It's been a while, but it was good to see my mates. And because it's the first week, there's obviously not much to do. Usually on Mondays, we have our clinical day where we're doing bedside teaching. So I'd usually like to brush up on some of the stuff that we learned from that day. But I'm probably just gonna relax for the rest of the afternoon. I've got athletics later on. But right now, I am starving. <laughs> Okay, so it's a Tuesday morning at 8.30 and our first class starts at 9. It will be a seminar on central nervous system malformations, so I'm gonna figure out what that means. But the seminars are a little bit different to lectures because they're a little bit more um, interactive, they're a little bit more practical and public health focused instead of just the basic sciences. And then following that, we've got two more uh, basic science lectures on neural development and they'll run back to back all the way to lunchtime. But right now, we just got in from the train. I'm with my friend. Declan over here, and we're trying, trying uh, to get a little bit of study done before we head over. <laughs> yeah, I didn't know there were ventricles in the brain, but that's in the heart, but, you know. <laughs> After the seminar, we have two more lectures, and once that's finished, I pack my bag, grab a quick bite to eat, and then I start making my way over to the library. This morning we went over a bunch of interesting things. The one that I liked the most was pediatric history taking because we've never really been introduced to the topic at all really. Our lecturer went through a grading system, which is basically an acronym for different aspects of the history which you should be focusing on. 
I made my way to one of the nice libraries on campus, found a spot, got settled in, and made the most of the quietness before the rest of uni starts again. So I just got out of the library. I did a quick touch up on just the lectures that we went through today. And it was a quick one. We finished by 12.30 and it was a bit silly because they put some of the basic science lectures before the clinical pathology. So we kind of had no idea what was going on in the first one. So before I was just in the law library and it's a really nice library and it's quite quiet at the moment because the rest of campus is on a holiday. But when it gets back, it gets really busy. Got nothing planned for the rest of the day. So it's time to get out of here. So I'm back in my room now and it is currently running at about five o'clock. So as you just saw at the library, I had finished reviewing this morning's lectures, which covered things like neural tube defects. So we went over anencephaly and spina bifida, super interesting stuff. And we also went over pediatric history taking. We'd never sort of been introduced to much pediatric learning. So this was our first little taste before we do more of it later on in the year. But since I've got home, there's not much more planned for the rest of the evening. Uh, usually on Tuesdays we have a lot more lectures, which run pretty much the whole day from 9 to 5. But they were pretty short this morning, it was only from like 9 to 12.30. So recently I've been posting videos to this channel every Wednesday, and I'm going to try to stick to it. So I'll probably edit a video that I have planned to be uploaded tomorrow. So for the rest of the night, I think I'll just be working on that. And actually by the time that you'll see this, the video should already be up, so I will link it somewhere here. Tomorrow there's a lot more planned, we're starting at 8am, and I will not be pulling a late night. Hey guys, it is nice and early and I just got back on campus. We have three lectures this morning, which go back to back all the way till lunchtime. And they'll be really on research methods or research skills. So we have a research project that we have to complete by the end of year three. And they're gonna go through the course requirements, what we need to do, and they're gonna help us to do like a literature search because by the end of this month, we have um, a milestone due, which is basically uh, little steps, baby steps towards the big project. So it's a literature search, how to um, look at key terms, how to scope out this sort of project and how to develop a research question. And I just got in and I'm running a little bit late, so I'm gonna head over there right now. Alright guys, so we're at Anus. Charles Tart. <laughs> that was Alex. Alright guys, so we're at Charles Tart now having a lunch break. And they were hosting a like barbecue for all the med students in year one, two, and three. But the line was huge, so we didn't bother. And I'm with my mates. And then I said, hey. And we're about to get Thai, so I'm gonna dig in shortly. There was a clause saying that consent may be specific or it could be extended. So on the previous project, if it was specific to that project, you wouldn't be able to use the data again. 
but um, if it's extended or unspecified, you will probably be able to use that data, and in rare cases, you might have to ask permission again from those patients if you want to reuse it. So as you just saw, we had a three hour ethics workshop and it was really cool because what they got us to do was they put us in a room and they gave us a bunch of different scenarios. So first they divided us into little like five to six people groups, gave us a scenario to look at and they were real um, ethical scenarios that students in the past had to deal with. So they felt very relevant and each of us had to sort of explore ethical issues, some concerns, and then we made a little PowerPoint as a group and then talked about it. So what you saw was just me doing my little bit. It wasn't great, um, but I think the team came in and it was fun. So we have another one of these workshops on Friday, but that was the rest of the class today. It was a bit of a longer one. Started at eight, finished at four. So that's usually more typical of what we'd expect in a normal day. We have a bunch of lectures or seminars in the morning, uh, followed by a little lunch break. And then we usually have a workshop or some sort of practical in the afternoon. But I'm home now and I've just unpacked my things. So again, another relaxing evening, not much planned. I've got athletics in about two hours, but for now, I actually didn't get to finish that video that I was working on yesterday, so I'll continue doing that, and I might do a little bit of study when I get back from training. Alexa, play some music. Here is Spotify. Hey guys, so it's a Thursday morning and I don't have to go to uni today because it is our day off or the independent learning day as they call it. I used to have it on Wednesdays last year, but now they've moved it to Thursdays. But either way, day off's a day off. Because it's so early in the SEM, I don't really have much study to do. I'll probably do a little bit of light revision for the ethics stuff that we did yesterday. But apart from that, it's pretty relaxed. I'll link a video to what I actually usually do on a study day, which I put somewhere here. But right now I'm actually finishing rendering this video, which I've been working on um, through the last couple of nights, so I'm going to hope to put it up in about an hour or so, but right now I'm going to get some food. So I'm having some wheat for breakfast now, and if you haven't guessed it already, wheat picks is pretty much my go-to for most mornings. But right now, I don't really feel like doing too much study. I'm going to probably relax, get that video posted, and then I might watch some Netflix. I recently finished the series called The Alienist, which was really, really good. But if you guys have any suggestions on good TV shows, um, please comment down them below because I would love to have the odd binge day. I'm probably gonna save the study for this afternoon. I'm planning to do a little bit on my research project because we'll have to complete an ethics statement and a search strategy by the end of the month. So what that basically entails is that when we're researching papers or doing a literature review, which is pretty much scoping out all the current publications on that topic, we'll have to develop what papers we include, what search terms that we're looking for, and what sort of databases that we use. I'm gonna delve deeper into that, figure out what exactly I wanna focus on. So yesterday and tomorrow will really be about research and getting our project underway. And the basic sciences and the clinical stuff will start next week. So I finally got around to uploading the video, which is now live on YouTube. So that's pretty cool. And it's running at about midday, so it's about lunchtime now. I'm gonna grab some food and then I'm gonna get straight into some study. Alright, so I'm showered and changed and the lighting is really poor in my room. I have this big lamp in front of me. I'm just trying to illuminate my face, but it still looks pretty rubbish. But as you would have seen, I didn't really get up too much today. So the day just sort of disappeared. So that's why I didn't really record anything. But I have to do some things before tomorrow. We have some pre-readings and some pre-videos for our anatomy practical tomorrow. And I will probably do some Anki cards because I have these daily Anki cards that I've been trying to do. So I think I'm just going to work on those things until I sleep. And I'll catch you guys in the morning. Got my lecture notes printed and I am off to class.
So tonight the med students are pulling a, what is it called, a startup party? Med camp launch party. Med camp launch party and some of these guys are involved in the leadering of it. Hey guys, so we're at the next lab which is our histology practical. And what you would have just seen before is we had our anatomy practical during the day and we had an ethics workshop in the morning. So I didn't really get a chance to record much of that but we had the ethics from 9 to 11, had a quick lunch break, caught up with some friends and then we had the anatomy shoot which we were going over sort of like how would you say it? we headed we're going over csf anatomy and like how it flows through the brain so um from the lateral ventricle to the third ventricle and fourth ventricle and so on and we went through it, uh, we went over basic brain anatomy and now we're going to do the histology of neural tissue we've got that class which will run for an hour and a half and then after that it's home time end of friday no more class end of the week Hey guys, so I'm out of the rain and I'm back home now and it has been pouring all day which has not made it fun because I had a little tiny hole in my shoe and it just flooded and my feet were really soaked but it's a lot cozier in here now and as you would have saw we just finished our histology practical so we have a anatomy and histology practical every week and they usually like focus on a specific thing so in anatomy I didn't really get to explain it well before we looked at cerebrospinal fluid and the meninges so we looked at all the ventricular spaces or like empty spaces in the brain where cerebrospinal fluid will flow through. So we had to go through all the little fancy names like the foramen of Magendi and it goes through this cistern and that cistern which are all just little spaces in the brain. So that was super interesting and I will try this weekend to put that to memory. So I don't have much planned for the rest of the night so I'm probably not going to record anything crazy. I'm just going to relax and uh, get some food into me. But tonight I'm going with my brother to the gym. That's pretty much it. It was really good for me to get back into the swing of things and I know that once the weeks keep progressing the workload will keep skyrocketing so for now I can just enjoy the reduced workload. I hope you guys found this interesting and if you enjoyed it can you please chuck us a like that really helps. Subscribe if you want to see more medical school content. I will put the full playlist somewhere here and I also have plenty of other videos which you should check out. But if you made it to the end of the video, thanks so much for watching. And until next time, this is Sebastian. Stay sharp.